First question is from Official Bruce Love. What are your thoughts on two days? Two days is this is when you're working out twice a day um, instead of once a day. And one of the reasons why people will do this is because they're training at a very high level, lots of volume, and to have the energy and the capacity to finish an entire all of your workout at one time is difficult. So splitting it up allows you to finish it with with good energy. Mm. Now here's the deal. I love it. If, yeah. if, if you're at this level and you're training with that much volume, splitting up your workouts is one of the best things you could possibly do. The, 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 well, the convenience factor is a problem. Yeah, and they're probably thinking of like the two super intense workouts like back-to-back. Like We used to do that a lot when we were playing uh, football or any other sport where it was like you're trying to cram you know, as much intensity in as possible. And um, yeah, the way that you're talking about it is – probably the only way I apply it now today in terms of like, it's a little more reasonable, but I'm just basically splitting almost in half or maybe just adding a little bit more to, to the next workout so I can get the benefit. I hate it. And I'll tell you why I hate it. And before I go into why I hate it, I want to preface this with one, I've done it a lot. Uh, I did it a ton, especially when I was competing and we've written a program maps PED that has it. So I'm not saying that nobody should do it and there's not a percentage of the population that there's there's lots of value to it so that exists. I hate it for the majority because I think that it's a very unrealistic thing to sustain and when you stop doing it it really throws off you you got to really know what you're doing with your diet. If you were decided if because this is what I see in my experience the people that want to do this they're doing it because they're wanting to do more. They're yeah. wanting to do more to get results faster, to get to their goal quicker, and and they're motivated by a wedding. They're motivated by a vacation. They're motivated by a competition they're doing. And the theory behind two-a-days is get to your goal faster. And that, to me, is the wrong message for that person. I do see lots of value in it in the – extremely consistent person who's been lifting for years and is, is trying to scale up their volume and continue and maybe they're into competing like I, that makes sense to me it, and let me tell you like I didn't get to this point like I was competing without doing double days it was when I got to the professional level because it, from the year leading up to competing I ran mostly like an anabolic type of program then when I started hitting stage I was moving to something more like maps aesthetic then I was moving into something like map split when I was still an amateur. And then by the time I got to the professional level, I had scaled to the volume of PED. But it was, that, that, I mean, you're talking about not missing a single fucking workout, diet, anything for almost four years straight for me during that time to progress to the point where I saw value in adding an additional workout to my training. I got incredible results leading all the way up to that point without ever having to push to two a days. Uh, two a days. So I don't like it for most people. And I remember we were very hesitant to even write PED. We wrote all the other programs first before PED for that exact reason. Yeah, well, there's some prerequisites. Like if you if you can do your whole workout in one workout and you're doing it appropriately and properly, then stick to that. If you get to the point where you're doing so much volume, so many exercises – that it's just you know it's it, by the end of your workout you just it, you're wasting your time because you're fatigued. That's when it becomes a good idea to split. Now here's a deal I, for the advanced person. This may be a great idea. This is how bodybuilders used to work out back in the in the 70s and 80s. They used to call what's called a double split uh, routine, where they would split the body parts up, but they'd also split it from morning and evening. And that for on a consistent basis that works great. But for the average person, here's how you can utilize. Something like this. It's as a sporadic way to get your body to change and adapt. You, if you're consistent you're really, and you're pretty fit, uh, once a day is perfectly fine. But every once in a while, try this. Every once in a while, if you have time to kill and you got a whole day ahead of you, go to the gym or in your garage. This is even better if you have a garage gym. And do a 30-minute workout every two or three hours. Do you know three sets of squats and two sets of bench press and some overhead press, something like that. Every other hour, you, you more than two days, you could do three or four of these workouts. I've done this occasionally. When I say occasionally, I'm talking about like once, you know, every three months or so. I get phenomenal results and gains from doing that. And I think it's because the body responds really well 
really well to, to frequency. Sp- to frequency. Yeah. yeah. Well, Splitting up the workout. So, okay. So I, I, there is another situation where I do see it, it okay for somebody who maybe is at like a beginner level. And I, I do this. This I do quite a bit. Now, I also we have a podcast in a gym. We have, you know, access to gyms everywhere we go all the time. And so it's very easy for us to do this. Many times I'm following like a MAPS anabolic type of protocol and I only do two or three of the exercises right, right first thing in the morning or whatever. And I get that's all I only had a little bit of time. And then I come back later in the afternoon in the and the day then I finish it. Yeah. Like that's two a day, right? That's mm-hmm. considered that. But I'm also managing my volume the same as if I was just going to do it in one workout. So I do see lots of value in that. Like people think that to get a good workout, you have to have this intense one hour yeah. kill yourself routine. And that couldn't be further from the truth. There is nothing wrong with you taking your current workout plan and splitting it up into workouts that are more like half hour workouts. Yep. And that, that there's, there's a lot of benefit to that. And I think that's valuable. When I think of people that ask me questions about two a day, you think they're going to do like an hour and a half yeah. in the morning, hour and a half. In the yeah. Evening? Or yeah. even just an hour and an hour of an intense training. You know what I'm saying? They're wanting to do more. That's what they're trying to do to promote faster results. And again, uh, you, you don't need to do that to get incredible results. And I would wait to scale to that until I've, if I've gone through all of the maps programs, then that, I mean, that's really how it's designed. Like, imagine you'd got, like, you're somebody who's been listening since the beginning and you have never missed, you've consecutive, consecutively went through maps program after program after program. We've scaled them like that. And the reason why PED was last is because it is the peak. It's the peak of the pyramid. Yeah, it's the pinnacle. So like, if, you- if, if that's like you're going to be your profession and like I'm going to be a professional bodybuilder or, you know, a professional athlete and I want to ramp myself up to that kind of volume and intensity altogether, that's like you're stretching yourself. And even then you don't want to stay there for very long. Like that's that's something that you're you're testing yourself just like if it's, you know, like I we talk about maxing out, you know, stuff like that. Like there's times where that that's appropriate, I feel, uh, to to be able to know where you stand. Well, and since since you got your gym at home, have you experimented with the like doing a few sets every other hour while you're at home type of deal? I I do that all the time. Isn't it great, uh, dude? It's it's so liberating because. Honestly, the most of the time when you're thinking about working out, the biggest thing is like, oh my god, I, I don't want to get started and then stop, and you right. know, I, you want all that momentum. Once you like free yourself of that and you just start just grabbing stuff and going, and you kind of have an idea of what you need to accomplish for the day. Like I'll mm-hmm. I'll start with bench and all or squat or whatever it is, and you know I'm just focused completely on that, and then it's like, oh well, I got to go pick the kids up, or oh I got to go take you know go to soccer practice. Then I'll come back and then I'm hitting something else. Mm-hmm. And it's and it's like you just do it in spurts and you get the same, if not better, results. Well, if, I, I did it yesterday and the day before both. One one day I was uh, talking to Rachel and Eli. I was out in the gym. I was doing bench press and some shoulder work. I would do three sets, set down the weight. I'd go in the office. I'd sit down. I was talking to them for 15, 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. let's work on this. Yeah. Overlooking at videos. Go back out, did a few more sets. I did it the, the, the yesterday again with Doug. Doug was in here. We we're doing like bookkeeping and, and numbers and shit. I was out there squatting, come back in, and then I talk to Doug for 15 minutes, go back out. Like, yeah, yeah I know. If you have that luxury to I, I, that, I'm it's uh, inconvenient yeah, for a lot of people. Yeah, it's yeah. It, but for most people, it's not great for my endurance, though. I'll be honest. Like, uh, like oh, getting it all back to back to back is like, oh, ideal. sure, sure, yeah, sure, but, sure. But yeah, uh, that's probably the only thing I could say. 